Hello YouTube, I'm gonna do a quick unboxing and setup of the Xfinity uh, new gateway, which is XB8, it just got delivered. Here you can see the old one, it is the XB7. So, and this is brand new XB8. The difference is uh, better coverage. Uh, it is better Wi-Fi 6E. Uh, faster speeds up to 2.5 uh, gig so let me get it out and we're gonna look at the difference oh it does look different look at that it actually it's it's bigger it's a little taller it's a little thicker uh, let's see hi there this is Xfinity hello at Xfinity Mobile, they're heavily advertising that. I don't need it. I have been with AT&T forever. And this is a cable that we're gonna connect. I'll show it to you guys in a moment and we will do the activation together. The difference for XB8 is, sorry about the noise, the unboxing noise. Let me get rid of it. There you are. The difference is the USB-C, no USB-C? Aw, that's the same regular adapter. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and connect it here. Boom, connected. I'm gonna move my shebang a little bit. So I'll go ahead and disconnect my old one which is the XB7. Uh, so I'll go ahead and unplug it, a bunch of cords, and that's unscrewed from the old port here. I got it on there really good last time. All right. Okay, so we're gonna say goodbye to Xfinity xb7 and say hello to xfinity xb8 i don't really need the black cord because i have my old one that i'm gonna use if i can reach it boom it's kind of hard to film it you know with one hand so this is the new um xb8 modem so we're gonna go ahead and screw it on there now it does say that it needs to be finger tight, so you guys make sure it is finger tight for you. And so this is the power to the XB8 new modem from Xfinity. So we simply plug it in and let's see, boom, the light is on. So the instructions say that it should blink uh and uh for about a minute and then it should turn solid white when it's ready to be activated through the app so i will give it a minute there we go as it begins to blink i will go ahead and um, show you guys how to activate it in the um, xfinity app Okay, so I, I am in my Xfinity app, so I do have the uh, Pro Wi-Fi extender. It actually does work with um, XB8 um, gateway. So, uh, two, 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 two. let's see, services. Uh, there should be a section where, uh, there it is, activate now and it's going to be the x5 gateway modem so we click on that hopefully it's going to be nice smooth and painless connect to your home it takes about 10 minutes i actually do like that the base of the x uh b a kind of matches my <laughs> <laughs> my table here so uh my nightstand so that's really neat uh scan the qr code on the side of the bottom of the gateway or enter it manually so let's scan it 
QR code scanned. You can see the light is blinking green now. It says, please unplug and return the prior Wi-Fi equipment to avoid late fee. So I'll drop it off to the Xfinity store today. Locate your cable. I already did that. So I connected it to the outlet. Place the gateway where it can provide better Wi-Fi. Avoid cramped spaces. Keep it at least at a few, uh, a few feet off the floor. You can also extend the coax cable to a more central location of your home. Okay. Connect the cable. I already did that just now. Plug in the power cord. That's already done. And within five minutes, the light should be blinking white. Uh, the light on your gateway should be blinking white uh, for about five minutes, blah, blah, blah. Uh, is the light white? Yes, the light is white. Now it says check in information and I'm gonna go ahead and connect to my existing Wi-Fi and enter the password. It's asking me, do you wanna keep your Wi-Fi as is? Uh, I'm gonna say yes, I don't wanna show it to you guys. And it says finishing setup. Uh, this may take a few minutes. Don't leave the app or unplug the gateway or you may need to start over. So far, so good. It's actually um, kind of painless. Um, you'll see the light now is um, solid white, which means um, the gateway is registering. That's what I read in the manual. Um, if it's blinking, that means something is wrong with the connection or the cords or the network it itself. But if it's solid white, it says in the guidelines, that is good. And we should be back up and running, hopefully, fairly soon. So we're gonna give it another second and see what the next screen is gonna say. I have to say the new process is um, actually less painless. Um, so it's more robust. Um, we used to um, have problems, um, as you might know, with Xfinity by activating new, um, you know, gateways, especially when you move addresses. So now it's more um, user friendly and the app does a good job at guiding you, um, providing the steps needed to proceed. See um, the icon on my phone just changed and registered the Wi-Fi. So let me touch the screen so that it stays up and it says finishing setup still. It does say it takes about five minutes, so it's been about two minutes. Uh, it does say that uh, you, you, you appear not to be connected to the internet. Do you want to keep trying Wi-Fi or cellular? So I'm going to keep trying Wi-Fi. I think it just comes from, as, uh, that's a message from the iPhone. So there it is, the new device is registered. So that's my uh, iPhone 16 Pro Max. That's a good sign. Yay, we are moving along. So I guess it is pretty accurate, the estimate that they give you that it does take about five minutes to register the new um, Gateway XP8 because it's about three minutes and 40 seconds now as um, I'm filming it live here. And well, not live, but you know, as we go. Um, yeah, again, the main indicator for you guys is the light if it's solid that's good and uh, it blends in really nice with the design as well um, so it's very modern neat um, it's uh, the, the device is kind of heavy too when I took it out from the box so I like that because it gives it sturdiness and we're at four minutes now Hopefully a message will pop up that we are good to go. Because I do see that the Wi-Fi symbol is there. You can see it on the top right. And I can't leave the app. It says you must stay in the app to finish the setup. So um, 
from what I read online, you'll have a better coverage for your home. You'll cover the garage, um, your backyard. If you have a two-story house, you'll, you will not have any problems. I kind of wish they would, uh, we're at five minutes now. I kind of wish they would give you, you know, some kind of uh, animation on the screen of what's going on in the background. So you'll have an idea of what to expect or what is it doing on the other end. Um, so, you know, the time goes by a little bit faster, but uh, yes, the coverage should be great. It's the 6E uh, e Wi-Fi. Um, it connects up to 300 devices, so you can, uh, you know, connect your smart home entirely to this internet um, without any problems. And we're at six minutes, so it does take longer than anticipated, so. Let's just wait and see what happens. Okay, the light started to blink yellow now. That means it could be a problem. It is now green. So green usually means good. And there we are right after it uh, was blinking green. Now it's solid white. So I'm anticipating for this to finish momentarily. Beautiful. We are almost done. Would you like to use these details to connect your devices? Simply go to the device Wi-Fi settings, look for your Wi-Fi name and enter the password. Okay, and it gives you uh, the name of the network and the password, very good. And your activation is complete. So we're officially done. Seven minutes. Let's go ahead and click done. You'll need to reactivate your uh, Pro Wi-Fi extender. Let's do this. Uh, let's set up your Wi-Fi Pro extender. If you don't have it, you can skip this step. And continue with the battery backup. I do um, have that. Okay. I scanned successfully the QR code on the Pro Wi-Fi extender. It used to be called like the storm ready Wi-Fi. I have a separate video on that on the channel if you want to check it out. And again, this could take a few minutes, so please don't leave the app or you may need to start over. So I'll give that a second too. And it's step five out of six. So we'll see what's going on here. Because I want to make sure all of my devices are up and running right now with no problem. No, oh, interesting, I just got a message. Pro Wi-Fi extender activation in process. We'll let you know when your Pro Wi-Fi extender is finished activating. No action needed at this time. Uh, would you like notifications? Yes. And beautiful. Welcome back, Boris. What would you like to do today? So I would like you guys too. Make sure you um, send a message or call Xfinity and ask if you're eligible for a new upgrade for the Gateway XB8. It is completely free. Um, great speeds, great coverage, uh, and it's actually a little bit less cheaper because I got discount uh, for my monthly bill as well. Boris Garman, Xfinity Gateway XB8 activation and setup. Thank you. Bye.